Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Michigan's Attorney General says she will investigate that controversial police incident in Royal Oak. Officers stopped Devin Myers and questioned him after a white woman claimed he was staring at her. The incident was caught on camera. The Royal Oak Police Department has apologized. Attorney General Dana Nessel says she has instructed her Civil Rights Division to look into the matter. An update on a Clinton Township woman accused in the shocking abuse of her own elderly mom. Anne Marie Walsh is now formally charged with vulnerable adult abuse. That's a 15 year felony. We're told police found dents in the wall and blood spatters throughout the victim's bedroom. Walsh told police she was her mom's caregiver, but the prosecutor says nothing could have been further from the truth. Michigan State Police wrapped up another traffic crackdown in Metro Detroit this week. This time, troopers focused on Ford Road between Telegraph and Wyoming and Dearborn. The result, nearly 300 tickets. The biggest violation was drivers not buckling up. Troopers handed out 133 tickets because of that. They also stopped people for driving distracted or without insurance and even arrested four wanted fugitives. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Mike. And just looking at the forecast for tonight, 67, a few showers and some storms, but the winds will be fairly light into the day tomorrow. However, for Saturday, 86 would be the high temperature, a mostly dry setup, but then a chance of rain moves in. That same chance of rain will increase as we hit Sunday. We'll be flirting with 90 degrees. Humidity climbs and it'll stay with us all the way into the start of next week where we stay unsettled with a high on Monday of around 88. Sounds good, Mike. Thank you. A celebration of African culture is in Detroit this weekend. You can find the African World Fest at Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. The free event celebrates the richness, diversity, and worldwide influence of African culture through live performances, food, and fashion. R&B singer Freddie Jackson will take the stage tonight, and Detroit's own Clark Sisters will perform tomorrow. The festival runs through Sunday. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and much more on our website, WXYZ.com, and on our app. Hope you have a good night.